Ever pondered the significance of that little check engine light that pops up on your car dashboard? It might seem insignificant, but it's a beacon of important information that shouldn't be overlooked. One day I was driving down an expressway when suddenly the check engine light started flashing. Since it didn't stop the car, I continued driving. Not too long after this, the car jerked and stopped with a heavy smoke from the engine. Had I known about this, it would have saved me a lot of money. Today, we're diving into the world of check engine lights, what they mean, why they come on, and how to fix them. When you see the check engine light, it's your car's way of telling you that it's detected a problem that could affect your vehicle's emissions, engine performance, or even its overall health. It's part of your car's onboard diagnostic system, a clever piece of technology that monitors and troubleshoots various aspects of the vehicle's operation. So, why does the check engine light come on? There are several reasons for this, but here are a few of the most common ones. Firstly, your oxygen sensor might need replacing. This sensor measures the amount of unburnt oxygen in your car's exhaust system, and if it's faulty, it can cause your engine to burn more fuel than necessary. Secondly, a loose or damaged gas cap could trigger the check engine light. This cap helps maintain pressure in the fuel tank and prevents gasoline fumes from escaping into the atmosphere. If it's not sealed correctly, it could cause fuel to evaporate, leading to more frequent trips to the gas station. Thirdly, your catalytic converter, which helps protect our environment by converting harmful carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, might be malfunctioning. If this is the case, your car will not pass an emissions test and will generally run at a higher temperature. Lastly, the check engine light might come on if your mass airflow sensor, or MAF, is faulty. This sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine to determine how much fuel is needed to run your engine efficiently. Now, how do you fix a check engine light issue? The solution depends on the problem. If it's a loose gas cap, simply tightening it might turn off the light. For more complex issues like a faulty oxygen sensor, catalytic converter, or MAF, you may need to visit a professional mechanic for a repair or replacement. However, before rushing to the mechanic, you can do some preliminary troubleshooting at home with an OBD2 scanner. This tool can read the error code that triggered the check engine light, giving you a better idea of what's wrong. Remember though, that while this tool can reset the light, it doesn't fix the underlying issue. To sum up, the check engine light is a vital part of your car's onboard diagnostic system. It can signal several issues ranging from a loose gas cap to serious engine problems. The solutions can be as simple as tightening the gas cap or as complex as replacing the oxygen sensor or catalytic converter. Home troubleshooting with an OBD2 scanner can provide insight into the problem, but for complex issues, professional help is advised. So the next time that little light pops up on your dashboard, don't ignore it. It's your car's way of asking for a little TLC. Remember, addressing these problems early can save you time, money, and potential headaches down the road.